can a narcissist change? Can they become healthy in a relationship? Can they be um, different? Can it be better? Are you waiting around and hoping that they'll make a change? Are you, are you, um, have you left them or have they discarded you and you are sitting there hoping and wondering if it can be different, if they can change, if therapy will help them, if anything will help them to see what they do so that they'll stop what they're doing. So, I mean, I could just sum this up and make this a really quick video and say no, but that's not the answer. Well, no, they can't change. Okay. Someone without empathy isn't going to gain empathy. But the other answer is yes. Yes, they can change. They don't change in the sense of becoming healthy in a relationship. What they do is they change the behaviors. They can learn which behaviors get negative responses. They can learn which behaviors get, get them discarded, right? Get them having them be left. who won't win you back. They can learn through watching your behaviors or through going to therapy and learning that their behaviors don't serve relationships, meaning to them doesn't keep supply in their life. And they can learn to shift that behavior into something else. Um, for instance, um, if you if I've heard of narcissistic people being very temperamental, throwing things, um, uh, um, not so much physically abusive, but lashing out, yelling, throwing things, temper tantrum stuff, right? Um, and going to therapy and learning that that's not how to behave. So learning behavioral modification techniques to change that. But what happens is that rage and temper gets displaced into something else. They become more covert, more manipulative, more um, apt to do things that will emotionally hurt you. Right. So the thing is, somebody that is lacking empathy in their brain only thinks of the world as it relates to what they need, want, feel or uh, believe. Right. And remember that they are living in a delusional state of their inflated ego being the most important thing in the world and that they need other people in, in, around them to. Uh, prove that their delusional thinking about themselves is real. And so they put you in a position to be what you, you know, what they need you to be. And you can't change from that position. You have to be that thing or else the devaluing starts. The devaluing will happen anyway. But um, long, what I'm trying to get at is all of that's going to stay in place. That's always going to be there. That sort of need to satisfy their own ego, the need to satisfy their own delusional belief about themselves, their uh, their inflated self-worth, all of that's always going to be there. Their need for supply is going to be there. So what they can change is some of the exterior ways in which they uh, operate toward people. That doesn't make it healthy for you. What it me makes it is often either more covert or more overt. So many people come to me, come to other people, post in groups, things like that, about really feeling trauma bonded and, and really feeling like they're just holding out, like their emotional life, right? So their, their mind knows what's going on. They're learning what's going on. But their emotions are really, really, really hoping that, that this could be the unicorn. This could be the magical person that isn't really a narcissist and will make a change. And what most people find is that when they see a change, it's exactly as I'm saying. They change, sure, into something worse or something more hidden or something more uh, discreet. Or even they may change like once they know you know how they are, they may change in that they don't try to hide things anymore. And it gets more overt and more painful on that, you know, in that way because you're looking right at it. So, um, Sitting around and hoping for change in another person who is showing narcissistic traits to the point where you're believing they might be a narcissist is probably not going to get you anything other than more pain. Sometimes they will have long honeymoon periods where treating you better. They start love bombing you all over again. And that can last sometimes for even a few years for a long period of time. Often, though, what's found out is they're living a double life. They're either cheating or they are um, doing stuff with money that's really wrong and horrible for the relationship. They're doing something, right? And they're 
wearing a mask of niceness around you. So you can't expect somebody whose brain is not wired for empathy to grow any. And it really does require the ability to have self-awareness to make a change. Think about how hard it is to make a change in your own life and how no matter how bad you want it and how much you um, try and how hard you work at it and all that. And it's so slow. If you ever met up with people you've known, like if you're older like me and you've met up with people you've known in high school and they're exactly the same, of course things have changed. Of course they've matured or this has happened or that happened, but essentially they're kind of the same. That's how I look at it. These sitting around and waiting and wasting your life, waiting for somebody to make a change when what they're doing is harmful to you, hurtful to you, damaging to you is, um, it's really trauma bonding. It isn't hope. There, I know there's a lot of self-proclaimed narcissists out there talking about how they can change and they can get better and da da da. Uh, horse's mouth, you guys. Who's telling? Who's saying it? Either someone living with them in denial or them. I don't. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I haven't seen science prove it. I haven't heard it in the therapeutic world of of it being possible, and I haven't seen it with my own eyes. So I don't know. I, I think the answer is, if it's possible, maybe it's a slim chance, but do you want to spend your whole life not only waiting around? That'd be one thing. Sitting around waiting, that's one thing. Sitting around, being manipulated, gaslighted, projected on, lied to, cheated on, all the stuff they do. Do you want to live your life with that while you wait in hopes of somebody who's got no empathy to make a change? Why do they change for new supply? Why? Because they all do it because they're mirroring that person in order to groom them. Okay. Of course she's perfect. It could last years. It could last. You're, okay. You're only going to see it from the outside. So he's going to tell you what he wants you to believe because now you're wrapped up in a new delusion with him. His delusion of this perfect relationship he's got over here. All right. So he's going to tell you what he wants you to believe and you who's hurt, wounded and all of that are going to listen and it's going to mess with your head. So don't listen to what he's saying, because remember out of his mouth, cause nothing but lies. Okay. So even if you see it on social media or friends say they're doing great or whatever, you've got to remember that that person, he is not going to change. He's going to be in relationship over and over and over again, kind of the same way. It will look different because she's different or he's different. You know, not, it'll look different because this new supply is different, whether they're male or female. They change their likes, they change their pastimes, they change their hobbies, they change their, their preferences, they may listen to different music, they may wear all new clothes. They it's everybody does that a little bit when we meet someone because that's part of the fun of new people, right? You get new experiences, you get so picture that blown up to the point where you want to believe you are the thing that that person sees as, as an ideal mate. Does that make sense? They are, she's, he's, what he's doing with her is projecting onto her the image he wants her to believe he is for now. Okay. And she's believing it. So everything's fantastic. And that can go on, like I said, a long time, depending on the way two people are together. When the bubble bursts, that person's going to fall twice as hard if it lasts. I'm Lise Colucci and I am one of the life coaches over at queenbeing.com.